Hi there, welcome to another Wine Search and Tasting. Evidently in the US, today is a National Chianti Day, a day for celebrating the marvellous wines of Tuscany and the Chianti region. So I've got a bottle to try here of uh, Chianti Rufina from Marchese de Frescobaldi, um, and that's a reserva, and the brand name is Nipozano. It's from the 2017 vintage. So, uh, what does that mean? Uh, Frescobaldi, one of the, um, I suppose, noble families of... Um, Florence, uh, Rufina is, is northeast of uh, Florence, quite close, I believe. Um, the Frescobaldi's have been involved in winemaking um, since 1300, evidently, so there's a, a long history there. They've been an no, important noble family in um, Florence for probably, probably about a thousand years, I should think. Um, and uh, the Rufina region, it, there are seven zones of Chianti, um, uh, almost like sort of villages as you'd get in the Cote de Rhone and Rufina is seem to generally to be the most prestigious and people tend to put it on a par with Chianti Classico in terms of the way it's made. As a reserver the wine will have spent two years aging in small oak barrels so um, uh, barrique a bit like this one here probably two this is probably two two um, eight litres it'd be two two five litres for that one. Um, and what does that what does that mean for the wine? It means that there's there's the ability for air to get into the wine and to soften its tannins because um, this is a wine made from Sangiovese principally. Uh, the notes don't actually explain what the rest of the blend is. It says Sangiovese and complementary varieties, so um, they weren't being very giving there. But the the um, going back to the barrel, the air getting into the barrel through the staves through the bung um, will enable the wine to soften and and. Sangiovese can have quite harsh tannins if it's not given that sort of treatment. So you get the sort of mellowing of the fruit coming out and um, you also perhaps to pick up a little bit of tannin and gain some structure from the wine and the, the air helps to fix the tannins in the wine as well. Um, so to look at the wine, I mean in terms of colour we've got a lovely translucent red there I hope you can see that fairly well so it's certainly it's not opaque beautiful ruby uh, not particularly strong legs coming when I swirl it um, smelling the wine you've got a, a lovely mellow aroma it's very harmonious um, initially you get a burst of sort of fairly dark red cherries it's not sort of fresh red cherry but it's a, a sort of fairly mature red cherry and then it sort of moves on to a more plum dams and almost a sort of a uh, sort of a really slightly overripe prune note on the end there. Um, there's no um, obvious cedary oak coming through, so the, the oak it will have been aged in probably is, is um, uh, second or third season oak, so that it's not imparting those, those um, overt flavours. Um, it, not a massively powerful nose, but, but it's certainly present and, um, uh, you know, four square. Tasting the wine. First thing that strikes you is good acidity. I can feel I'm salivating, it's mouth-watering. Uh, the wines are sort of medium weight. It has fairly firm tannins, but actually there are sort of a rounded, slightly sort of chocolatey texture, slightly dusty notes. Um, again, those sort of deep red fruit, sort of plum, Maybe getting on to sort of mulberry, sort of darker notes. Um, the flavours last nicely because the acidity has pepped it up. The, the fruit still seems a little closed. It's it's a bit young as a 2017. Um, I've had wines from, from this producer, um, that, from this brand, um, that I've aged for 20 years and they've, they've done very well. Um, I wonder whether this is a little riper and a little softer and would perhaps go that far but I would certainly be quite happy to keep that for another 10 years and expect it to do well so um yes uh Chianti Nipozano everybody a, a lovely Chianti Rufina um happy National Chianti Day and um yeah well worth a try I'm I'm suspect it'll go really nicely with a rack of lamb we've got for dinner tonight cheers everybody